So, uh, I know you're thinking, Mark, what are you doing? You just promised that you'll be doing Pokemon Creator on a Wednesday and Poke Vlogs on a Monday. It's a Wednesday, there's a Poke Vlog. Well, there's been a bit of a delay on the next episode of Pokemon Creator, uh, down to technical issues, uh, but we've got an exciting video today anyway, because I have some new Alolan Pokemon. So I'm going to do my top five. In fifth place, we have Alolan Raticate. Now this is a design that I did earlier today, a little bit of doodling. So I didn't want to change this design really dramatically, uh, but I added in that kind of mono brow and obviously changed the colours. I changed the way his claws uh, and feet were. The mono brow on a dark, on a Lola Raticate's brow uh, contains normal Raticate's colouring. Um, and that's about it, that and the tail. Quite happy with how this design turned out. Raticate was actually a surprisingly difficult Pokemon to draw. Uh, but this is my Alolan Raticate, who would be dark normal type. He's number five. Next up, number four, we have Alolan Rhyhorn. And this one <laughs> didn't turn out quite the way I imagined. I wanted to make Rhyhorn cute. Now, if you, any of you remember when you watched uh, The Orange Islands as a kid, Ash and his friends went to Pinken Island where uh, the Rhyhorns and other Pokemon had been eating berries and become pink. So this is my idea for a, a pink Rhyhorn, that's where it came from. The only thing problem with this design is when I was shading and colouring it, there was a lot, a lot of pink and it got boring, so I ended up doing the back, his back off quickly, it just looks like he's a really, really sore Rhyhorn. Um, but I did try to sort of soften it up. Every everywhere there was a hard line on Rhyhorn's design. I sort of curved it uh, to make him look a bit kind of cuddlier. So this would actually probably be fairy and ground type. I thought it would be a really cool combo. Uh, if you're going to make Rhyhorn pink, make him fairy. So third place, uh, this is the ever popular Pokemon. Uh, probably one of the most popular Pokemon of all time, Arcanine. Arcanine, depending on how you pronounce it. Arcanine um, has been the centre of a Lolan debate for a little while now. Everyone's uh, presumed we've got an Alolan Ninetales, we're going to get an Alolan Arcanine. And everyone thinks he's going to be water type. I don't quite know where this comes from. Um, I can't really, I couldn't really picture it myself. But then I just sat down and decided to draw it. Um, I used a bit of Vaporeon for inspiration, I guess. Then when it came to colouring it, when I colour my Pokemon, I don't I don't just choose random colours. I, uh, I palette off of different real Pokemon to kind of get a realistic Pokemon colour. I used Suicune for this. I thought, that's a water dog, right? It's got to work. So the colours of the inside of his fins are Suicune's thing. The colour of his hair is Suicune's spots. The colour of his fur is the colour of Suicune's fur. I'm actually really happy with how this design turned out. Actually, now I can kind of see it. I can see Water Arcanine, and that's kind of cool. In second place, this is the one that's pretty much confirmed as per the website uh, describing a fire trainer uh, who specialises in dance uh, and spends a lot of time with his Marowak. Second place, we have a little Marowak. This design is really simple, just took some Char Charmeleon cap colours actually, and put some flames on uh, on Marowak's a tail and a uh, bone. Um, I actually took the pose from a Pokemon card Marowak that I had of him doing a dance. I thought that would be really creative because everyone's saying it's going to be like a Hawaiian fire dancer. I thought, why not? I nicked the flames off the Char Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard's tails, and also stuck one on Marowak's tail. Because if it's going to be a fire Pokemon uh, who's that closely related to the Charles, then he deserves a flame on his tail. So this one's probably pretty much confirmed. And that's how I imagine he will look. His red might be a bit darker, probably. He's kind, of, kind of gone a bit pink somehow. I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. And in first place, of course, go back to the Orange Island series, one of the most famous Delta form Pokemon in the anime, and probably one of my favourite, probably one of my favourite episodes in the entire anime. It was the anime featuring Crystal Onyx. Therefore, an ice, pure ice type Onyx would be my number one Alolan form. This is what I want to see the most. Pure ice type Onyx. Onyx is kind of a fun one to draw, uh, but it kind of gets a bit boring the further you get down the tail. And um, I wasn't really sure how to do ice either. I found that quite difficult. But I found a really cool sparkle effect, uh, which kind of kept in with the style. 
um, and I managed to do that, so there's Crystal Onyx. So there's my five. Uh, other Pokemon that I think would make great Alolan forms would be Fighting Abra, Kadabra and Alakazam, I've heard that rumoured before. Um, I also would like Fighting uh, and Poison uh, near the King and near the Queen, I've heard that rumoured before. I saw somebody poking around about an Ice-type Geodude uh, and family. I think that'd be quite cool, but I think, I'm thinking sort of a, th a three, three Ice types would be enough and I'd choose Crystal Onyx over them guys. And of course, Butterfree, uh, Psychic type, probably pink, a bit like the Butterfree that Ash's Butterfree falls in love with in the anime. So there's the idea that that Butterfree was actually a Lolan. So I think these are Lolan forms, they can kind of fix a lot of what was wrong, not what was wrong, but you know, those variations in the anime and I think that'd be really really cool and really exciting. So those are my top five uh, I chose. Maybe I'll do designs for the other ones if they don't come out within the next week and if this video gets enough likes. So like this video and I'll draw some more. Thanks for watching.